O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endureth forever. His mercy endures forever. This, this day, I just want to name five things really quick that we, Matthew and Randy, are thankful for. In the spirit of thanksgiving, in, in, in the attitude of thanksgiving, mm -hmm. this is important. John MacArthur said something. It says, no matter how choppy the seas become, a believer's heart is buoyed by the constant praise and gratefulness to the Lord. No matter what's going on, you may be at a point to where today you're thinking, I don't really have anything to be thankful <laughs> for. But no matter how rough the seas may come, your heart is buoyed, buoyed mm -hmm. to the Lord by praise and gratitude. It's about keeping that praise song in your heart. The five things that we're really thankful for is first off, we are thankful for what the Lord has done in our life. Amen, for calling us. For, for calling us and, and for giving us honor. It is an honor to be able to, to share God's word with Amen. his children, to be a teacher to the children of God. That, that as a parent means a lot because you kind of want to protect and guard your kids <laughs> to what's being taught and what's being spoken into their lives. And so it is an honor to be able to share God's word with his children. Number two, we are thankful for each, each other. other. We, uh, we, Bye, sweetheart. we are, God definitely put us together. Yes, we are coming up <laughs> at the end of January on, on being together for 40 years. Mm -hmm. And this summer will be our 40th anniversary. Mm -hmm. God has brought us together. Amen. God has kept us together. And that all comes from Randy's great illustration that she likes to use so often in weddings is that you may start here as a husband and she may start there as a wife, but if we're going toward Jesus, as we grow towards Jesus, we'll only grow closer together Amen. as we approach the Lord. Now, I'm just thankful for my wife. Second, third, <laughs> we are thankful for our children and their wives. Amen. Curtis and Stephen, we just say we're proud of you. And we th are so thankful um, to have you growing and, and, and living together. We're thankful for your relationships with your spouses, Lord. Uh, th these, these are the things that we're thankful for, for, for them. Uh, that it is so good to see consistency and that they have maintained yeah. their relationship. And when somebody posts up something like, well, we've been together for 10 years, 12 years, I just want to say, where has the time gone? gone. Yeah. We are thankful for our children and their spouses. We are also thankful for our grandkids. Our grandkids. <laughs> grandkids are great and sometimes people say why don't we have them first but uh, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> but grandkids, man they're great and it's so great when they come over because grandparents can spoil their grandkids. That's kind of what we, mm -hmm. we like to do. Randy likes to cook them breakfast and make them whatever that they want. And it's, it's just loving on our grandkids. They are the future of our family. The law family will be carried on through the grandkids. Number five, we are thankful for our church family. So we're blessed. thankful for all of you that are watching. Yeah. We're thankful for, for when you come down to church. When you walk through the doors at church or you tune in online and you make a comment, it brings joy to our hearts. To our hearts. I mean, I'm telling you, when you walk through the door, Man, the first person walking through the door, I, I just kind of go, whoo, somebody <laughs> showed up to church. And then as the church progresses or the service progresses and gradually more and more people come in, I'm like, thank you, Lord, that people are coming down. We're thankful for our friendships that we forge through our friends at church, our family at church. This is what it says in Ephesians 5.20. Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians 5.20 Giving thanks always. This is what we should do. We should always be thankful. We should be setting our affections on things above and not on things of this earth. We should think upon the good things. We should be grateful for the gifts that God has given us. This season, find something to be thankful for. I'm going to give you an ending quote from Billy Graham, and this is what it says. Grumbling and gratitude are, for the child of God, a conflict. 
They're in conflict. Grumbling and gratitude for the child of God are in conflict. This is what he said. Be grateful and you won't grumble. <laughs> grumble and you won't be grateful. Let's say that one more time. Be grateful and you won't grumble. <laughs> but grumble and you won't be grateful. That is Billy Graham, and I am so glad that you joined us. Thanks for joining today. Keep a praise song in your heart. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, Rejoice. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock. God bless. Yes.